Bro, bro, film. Dude, dude. Oh that is what I meant by they get a lot bigger. Look at the size of Danny. Danny. He's got one arm. Right now, Danny has a really bad infection. He looks healed, but the infection's still there. Well, we're praying for Danny. We hope he makes a full recovery. That shark. Dude. Dude, dude. Look at the size of that shark. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center here in Jupiter, Florida, and we're going to be touring their whole facility full of sea turtles, aquariums, ponds, you guys name it, it's here. We did this about two years ago, but since then they've completely remodeled the place. So we're going to be heading in and checking out everything new. Look at how many ponds there are. We had one of these. They have probably about 15 of them. And then they even added some giant aquariums slash ponds. I see a shark swimming right over there. Look at that thing, giant shark in the aquarium. We'll make our way over there, but first let's check out all the sea turtles. So if you look right here, this is Zawadi. And Zawadi looks like he came from Boston, Massachusetts, December 5th, 2023. There he is right there. Bro, bro, film. Dude, dude. Oh that is what I meant by they get a lot bigger. That's got to be, his name's Danny. Danny, where the heck did Danny come from? Port St. Lucie, that's not too far. Look oh at the gosh. size of Danny. Danny. He's got one arm. Dude, he's got one, one or three flippers, a total of three flippers. So either a shark got to him, that happens too sometimes, where a shark will attack a sea turtle but not be able to actually eat it, so it leaves him injured. And then, oh my you gosh, know, stuff dude, like he's that. Having, he's missing it. Yeah, he's missing it. I'd never Whoa. seen a sea turtle that big in my life, I don't think. And guys, remember, this is only temporary homes. It does seem like a small space for them, but it's only to help them get better so that eventually they could so make it's their kind way. Of sort of like a rehab, right? Like well, that's, yeah, it's exactly what it is. Um, it's just a stopping point because if they were to just leave them out in the wild, they probably wouldn't make it. So this is like their second chance at life, pretty much. And as you can see, this guy only has three flippers. He's absolutely huge. He's probably, I would say, if I had to guess, 30 to 40 years old, but let, let's find that out. Excuse me? How old is that turtle? They think probably at least 30, but I was close. no way annoying. I was close. <laughs> I, I, I guessed about 30 to 40. Oh, yeah? okay. he, he's a big boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And he is, he is an adult. He's an adult. Do you know what happened to his flipper? Um, they think, uh, combination shark uh, boat, mm. you know, it was probably shark. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's an infection. They've been, he's been here a while. And They're trying infection. to get him all better? Yeah. There's an infection deep, deep, deep um, where that flipper was. Uh, wow. And they have been treating it and putting meds in there, giving it antibiotics, but it's really, really in there, so. Tough one. Yeah. Well, we're praying for Danny. We Thank hope he you. makes a full Thank recovery. You. Yes. He's a big boy. Yes, he is. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was kind of what I said. I mean, I thought either a shark or a boat got to him, and she said they're thinking a shark. But right now, Danny has a really bad infection. He looks healed, but the infection's still there. So they're trying to get rid of that. So once it's gone, he will be completely Poor fine. Danny, man. Poor yeah. Danny. Poor man. Danny. But hey, at least he's getting help, right? This is something new. I've never seen this. Wow. That shark. Dude. Dude. Look oh at the size God. of that shark. Look at him next to the baby. Bro. They, see, they didn't have this last time. You got beautiful angelfish down there. And then we got two giant nurse sharks just strolling it. I mean, oh my holy. Gosh, bro, look at this. I don't know if the glass makes them look bigger, but they look like six, five, five to six feet. Look at that trigger. Bro, that is the biggest trigger fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh my Look at him compared to my hand. That is pretty cool. Wow. This is like the dream one day to get to something like this. If you guys think we can do it, let me know. Uh, but I think in the future, you know, in the backyard or something, we have one giant aquarium like this. I don't see anything topping that. And um, that is literally the dream. I will say though, this right here, you're looking at a close to a million dollars. So we got some videos to make. This is another angle of the aquarium slash pond, more of an above angle. Look at that, bro. 
What? This guy's coming right up. I've always wanted a pet nurse shark. I will say they get huge. You need a giant aquarium or pond for them. So we'll make our way there, but you gotta appreciate something like this when you see it. There's Big Danny. Charles, look at Big Danny. Big Danny, he loves the window. It's like he knows people are watching him. He just sits there. He's got the whole pond to swim, but he sits right in that one spot. Honestly, since I've last been here, it's 10 times better, way more organized, a lot more tanks and ponds added. It never gets old, I'll say that. Just seeing them, seeing the different sizes, what the different stories behind each sea turtle, it's pretty cool, so. That's crazy um, how like each, each turtle has its own story. Yeah, yeah. And what's, I think the coolest part is that they get a second chance, pretty much. A lot of these sea turtles, you know, will, there's not anyone out there to actually give them a second chance, but some of them get really lucky and, you know, somebody comes by, by them being injured and then they give, you know, loggerhead a call and then they rehabilitate them to give them a second chance. So in my opinion, that's the coolest part, but let's keep touring, see what else they got. What is that, bro? Oh, what? It's a sea turtle. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can tell you right now what he has wrong with him. So if you look on the back, that like white thing, that's like a device to keep him like balanced because his shell has air trapped in it. So keeping him afloat pretty much. So what that does is I think it balances him out. I may be wrong, but from the looks of it, he's like, the back of him is like, the back of him is staying up while the front of him staying down. See that? Wow, yeah. That's yeah. It's so it's basically just a lead weight and, oh, how does that happen? Boat hit him? Yep. She got hit by a boat. When the boat cracked her shell, air entered the shell. Once the shell healed, the air got trapped in the shells, causing her to only swim down, but the backside not go down. So what they're doing is they have a lead on her. They're gonna try to balance that out. Eventually the air will escape and then she'll be swimming back to normal. I've always wanted a schooling fish like that, like colorful. You got parrot fish, you got, um, what are those things called? Pork fish, school of pork fish big angel fish and a lot of these fish you see in this tank right here are all fish we see in Jupiter on a daily basis pork fish parrot fish the big angels see these all the time so that's pretty cool Franco bro, what in the world look at the size of this puffer fish that thing's huge bro that's crazy that may be the biggest puffer fish I've ever seen in my life he, he looks like a dog. He legit looks like a dog. Oh my God. Look at my hand compared to him. Bro. Hey, buddy. Look at his spikes. Imagine that thing blown up. What else do we have in there? Oh, stingray. Stingray at the very bottom. We got some moonfish, a school of them. That is sick. One of my favorite fish. We've, I've always wanted to add those to an aquarium. Never been able to catch a good amount of them, but they are cool looking. They call them look downs. Also, AKA moonfish. I've never seen like snapper school up like this, but these are some big boys. They look good, but they would look better on a dinner plate. I'm not gonna lie. One of my, one of my favorite eating fish right there. Nick is hungry, bro. I am getting a little hungry after these. So awesome though. Everything's so clean, natural. And I think that's the best part about it. I mean. Clear the water. Yeah, water's crystal clear. You got real sand, real rocks, natural mangroves. It just they, they did a really good they did a really good job putting it all together. Another little view from here. Oh, so epic! All this stuff just like makes me want to bring back the fish tanks and ponds again. Not gonna lie. This guy looks like he has the same problem that last one had with the weights. Just stick the camera over a little. Wait. Yeah, yeah. So it's this kind of similar thing to what the last sea turtle we saw had. A lot of them get hit by boats, so they all have very similar injuries. And this guy, it seems like he has very similar, but even worse. He's got two weights on his back. You know, it's, it's a little sad because sea turtles are like the nicest animals out there. They're literally harmless. So to see him like, you know, injured, it's a little sad. But the good news is, like I keep saying, they're getting better. So that's why we're sharing this with you guys. I think it's really cool and um, if you ever find a sea turtle that's injured, you guys know who to call, Loggerhead Marine Life Center. Looks like they're just doing some daily maintenance. 
got some people cleaning the ponds and stuff. That's good. So that shows you. I mean, even during the tours, they got people cleaning the aquariums and stuff. So it definitely tells you they, they keep good care on uh, everything here. All this water that's in these aquariums and ponds comes straight from the ocean. The ocean's across the street from here, the beach. They're pumping pumps, constantly adding fresh water. So they're getting everything they would out in the wild. Just right now, they're getting a little help and a little guidance to get back on their fins and make their way back to the ocean. So it's literally just a rehab center for sea turtles. Let's go check out the baby sea turtle. Since you guys have seen a lot of the big sea turtles, we're gonna show you a baby one. Dude, he's a baby baby, look at him. Bro, that is the cutest thing ever. I wish we can have a pet sea turtle, but as a lot of you know, highly, highly protected. These are like the only people I've ever seen with sea turtles, so they, they obviously have a good reason, but uh, it would be insane if one day we could have a pet sea turtle. I highly doubt that would, would ever happen, but of course, that how is. Big you see Danny over there, brother? <laughs> yeah, that's how big. <laughs> Jeez, bro. Yeah, that's what I mean. Pounder, dude. Like, this guy's gonna be 300 pounds. I wouldn't even have a, a big enough home for him. I will say they are just so majestic. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Where Holly got it? She Holly, got a new Holly, home. Holly is in the hospital and has been getting her flipper uh, and underneath part, which was part of a shark bite. Wow, Injury, so shark in. bites happen often, huh? Yes, well, they're the primary predator. And Makes she unfortunately sense. was hit by a boat, which probably made her more susceptible to getting bitten. She was sluggish, didn't eat as much, and wasn't able to flee from the shark. Dang. However, she survived, and uh, she's just getting her underneath part cleaned, and she'll be back in here to continue to heal. Right, so let me ask you this. when. You know, obviously when a shark, that happens, it's like nature pretty much, but it, what causes you guys to interfere? The shark doesn't eat them, they just leave them like... Oh, they, uh, they sometimes just toss them. Really? Yeah, like a frisbee. And, don't, and, then, and that, at that point, you kind of have to rescue them. Well, if we, if we get them, we rescue yeah. them. You know, if we're only as good as the fishermen or the coast guard or... Right, you gotta get the call. Yeah, the boaters bring them into us. That's gonna wrap up the tour here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see us do more stuff with them from like releasing the sea turtles, even some surgeries on the sea turtles, all the behind the scenes, we can make it happen. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see it. Also, if anybody wants to donate, we're gonna have a link in the description down below. Go check it out, donate to them. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you. Thank you guys so much.